Hello, I'm Barry McGuire, um, Alberta real estate lawyer, 40 years of experience. The question we're talking about um, in this video is, what do you as a buyer bring to your lawyer during the closing process? So chances are, unless you have a complicated transaction, you will only see your lawyer once, and that is at the closing. So approximately, you know, in a week before closing, two or three days before closing, your lawyer will ask you to come into his office, and when you go in, he'll want you to bring a few different things. Number one, he'll want you to bring your identification. Number two, he'll want you to bring proof that you have the property insured, and that would be for a, uh, for not a condominium. Condominium insurance is dealt with a different way, but if you're buying a bungalow, you'll have to bring proof of insurance. And the third thing you'll have to bring is certified funds for the balance of cash to close your transaction. That is the rest of the money that isn't coming from your new mortgage. And those certified funds will not only include the rest of the money you need that isn't coming from the mortgage, it will also include enough money for tax adjustments. Say the seller's paid the taxes for the whole year and you're buying in June, you have to pay them back for half a year plus the lawyer's legal account. So that last bit of certified funds you bring the lawyer will be all the rest of the money that you need to bring to finish off your deal completely. So it's ID, insurance, and certified funds to close the transaction. <music>